shop the Mother Goose Market just north of Hazard on Old Highway 15 where more sage pours money. Well, affection for a building is often a key to its health and maintenance, especially if you live in it. And if you're traveling in eastern Kentucky along Highway 476, you may notice the unusual house where Marie Stacy now lives. Well, it's a mother goose market, and this is a mother goose house. That's it. This is Hazard, Kentucky, and this is North Main Street. You come in on Main and ask anybody. They can tell you where the goose is. You'll often find Marie's niece, Alice McIntosh, here helping her take care of the place. Lots of people stop to take a look at the goose, even locals like Charlie Hammonds, who's special assistant to the mayor of Hazard. Everybody gets excited when they see the goose because it is so unusual. I love for people to come and take pictures. Nobody really bother us, no. Yeah, they take pictures all the time. And the folks that live here and own it, they have a great attitude and they're very proud. And we're proud of the goose. It was finished in 1940 after years of construction work. Like so many of these unusually shaped buildings, it was the brainchild of one determined individual. My father-in-law, George D. Stacy, he owned it and he built it. He worked on the railroad for years, and then he built the goose. I have some pictures I'd like to show you of the goose. This is a picture of George Stacy, who designed, dreamed up the goose idea. He wanted to build a goose, and he bought him a big goose, and they cooked all of the meat off the bone and took it to the blueprint office and made the blueprint of the goose. This was just an idea he had, and, and I suppose he just wanted to see if he could do it, and he did. He had an imagination, a big imagination. This is a picture of his wife, Ollie, who talked to me a lot about the goose, even though I didn't get to know George. She told me a lot of things about the goose. Actually, before the goose was built, George had started to attract customers by building an unusual oval service station and dairy bar near the road. It had three rounded roofs that were called the eggs. And this picture is the completed goose with the oval service station. This is the grocery store that was below the goose, and this is the goose where George and Ollie lived. Mm -hmm, they lived here, yeah. He raised his family here. Alice offered to give us a tour of the goose. Come on in, I'll be glad to show you around. This is our living room. And if you look at the ceiling, you'll see where it's shaped just like an egg. It is oval, but it's bigger than you might expect. In here we have a bedroom. Actually, there's plenty of room. And in here we have another bedroom. We learned that George Stacy may have at first expected this to be a restaurant and bar. We have a full-size bath. But George's wife, Ollie, decided they'd live here. And in here's our kitchen and dining room where we spend a lot of our time. And if you look at the ceiling, you'll see shaped just like the living room, just like the other half of an egg. We also found out that there's access through one closet door to the body of the goose. That's the attic. It's shaped like a, to me it looks like a boat that's turned upside down. <laughs> that's the way I look at it. It's so unusual, I don't think that you could ever stop it from leaking. Architects tend to run when I ask them if they would like to come and re-roof it. So. <laughs> well, it's a home. I love it. I always have. Uh, you know, the, the, in the Bible, the man lived in the belly of the whale, but I, and this lady lives in the, in the belly of the goose. But I don't know if anybody built a whale, do you? <laughs> and this is just part of our great American imagination, I guess.